So this meal that we're making right now is, it's basically just think of a big mixed potato, meat, veggies, eggs, casserole, cake. We refer to it as the lumberjack. I don't know why it was coined the lumberjack, but that's what we call it. So we used two green peppers, one red pepper, one full onion, one regular bag of shredded cheese. We've got a pound of bacon. Now the bacon is all sliced in about half inch strips. So just pull it out of the pack, lay that big slab down and cut it in half inch strips. So you got bite sized morsels inside that casserole as it bakes. We're gonna fry that bacon along with the sausage and these veggies first. So we're gonna start getting this Dutch oven hot as soon as these coals are ready. Typically in a 12 inch Dutch oven, it's done with a dozen eggs. But since we're using a 14, we're going with a pack of 18. So we're gonna do 18 eggs. Then we got a big 32 ounce bag of shredded hash browns. Now, the goal for what we're doing here is functional. When we're out on the river, you know, you can do a lot of things like even biscuits. We're gonna make some biscuits. You know, a lot of people wanna make those things homemade and they're fantastic that way. But the way that we operate, we try to make the best meal possible in the least amount yeah. of time. All right, big pots going here. And so we're gonna use out of the can biscuits. Um, and a lot of this stuff is just stuff that you can just buy from the store real quick, throw it all together, put the coals in, let it bake, and it's ready to eat. I threw this big Dutch oven on the fire for about three minutes just to kind of heat it up really quick, get it up to temp, dumped my coals down, and we're getting ready to fry the bacon, we're gonna fry the sausage, and we're gonna fry the onions all together. Oh yeah. We're just gonna keep working that sausage, kind of breaking that sausage down. You know, you don't want it so fine that you can't have a good chunk of meat to bite into, it, but you want it to be kind of proportionate so everything cooks nice and easy. So how many charcoals do you have under here? Does it even matter? Yeah, there's 25 to 30 charcoals underneath there right now. And we're not baking right now, we're frying. So we just want a really hot pan. And then once this is ready and we go into the bake mode, we'll move this off, we'll move some of those charcoals up top. Oh man, you ready for the peppers, buddy? Yeah, bud, I think we're ready, man. Those onions are perfect. They're nice and soft and caramelized. All right, it's time for the hash browns. We'll just dump them on in and we'll start mixing them in there, bud. So we've got all of our bacon and our sausage and our green peppers and our red peppers. And everything is nice and cooked down, soft. We're not draining any of those juices. You're gonna keep a lot of that flavor just by mixing everything in with those potatoes. Now this is when we want this to start baking. Before we were frying, all the coals were on the bottom. This thing's gonna kinda of go to bake mode. So think about how heat works. Heat rises, so typical rule of thumb, you're gonna use about 30% of your coals underneath the oven, 70% on top. And that's gonna create a nice, even bake. Being meticulous is a good thing when, you, when it comes to Dutch oven cooking because one of your biggest enemies is not only the, the outside temperature and wind and things like that, but your coals because not every coal is gonna be the same temperature. So you can actually create hot spots on a dish if you have a really hot coal over here and not such a hot coal over here. So in order to combat that, what you do every 15 minutes is grab your Dutch oven, and just rotate that Dutch oven, you know, 45 some odd degrees, put it into a new spot, and do the same thing with your lid, but go the other way. So what that did was it just moved all those coals to different areas, both top and bottom, and that'll make sure that you have a nice, even bake. Ready for these bad boys? Yep. So we've got 18 eggs that Shiner's scrambled and whisked up we're just gonna dump that in there. Got the eggs mixed in. Oh yeah. Get everything real even. So it's it's always good to kind of keep things even because you know if you've got a higher spot, it's gonna be closer to the lid, which in turn is gonna be a, a hot spot. So 
Again, it's okay to be picky. Now, your temperature really that you want right now is right around that 350, 375 mark. We're gonna let this bake for probably another 30 minutes. And we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. So like Crash had mentioned earlier, uh, it's, it'd be awesome if we could sit out here and make our own biscuits and whip up all the ingredients, but we're kind of cheating. We're gonna actually use biscuits that are already in the tube. So it just makes life a little bit easier out when you don't have the, uh, all of the ingredients and all of the time to make your own biscuits. So we're gonna line up this Dutch oven with these biscuits here, pack them real tight. Okay, so we got our biscuits here. That's good right there. So utilizing the coals on the bottom Dutch oven to bake the bottom of the biscuits and then we're gonna put more coals on here. So we're gonna stack these up. Now the biscuits aren't gonna take long, man. You got like 12, 15 minutes max after this thing kind of gets up to temperature. All right, we're gonna check our lumberjack here. Oh yeah, we're, we're ready to rock. Shiner, you wanna grab the cheese, buddy? I got you some cheese right here, big guy. Roll on, man. So this is one bag of shredded cheese. I mean, this thing's baked. The only thing we're doing is just melting this cheese down a little bit. Let it do its thing for another couple of minutes here. And then what we'll end up doing is just pulling it off this heat. And it'll just slowly start to reduce in temperature. Continue to bake on that so that when you cut into that, it's almost like eating a cake. Here in about two minutes, we're gonna drizzle this over those biscuits about halfway through. Just gonna melt right into those biscuits and... You ready, Shiner? Yes, sir. They're starting to puff up a little bit. Oh yeah, got some butter biscuits. One last little drop on some of these fellas. I think that'll do it. That looks beautiful. It's real good. This thing a little peak. It's been a couple minutes. Oh yeah, buddy. We are going to take this off our heat. And just set this down. Oh, snap. Nice and golden brown. All right. Be careful here. This, this bed dude is hot. Oh, oh now you. that right there is some butter biscuits, boys. Ooh. That looks perfect. That's so perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Got something going on here, boys. Oh yeah. Now that's a combo. Huh. So that right there is exactly what I'm talking about. You got a nice consistency all the way through. It's evenly cooked. It's not burnt on the bottom. We've got a good melting of the cheese. It's not, it's, it's nice and kind of almost thick, holding everything on top together. It's still kind of stringy. Jump in here, boys. Come here, Willie. Well, hey guys. Hey, buddy. Uh -huh. Hey, dude. Mm. 